Hey, hey, y'all. We got some collard green gumbo. Yes. The southern way, y'all, with some cornbread. So good. Y'all, let's get to this video. Welcome back to your girl channel. Welcome to your girl channel for all that I knew. Welcome to cooking with Lexi, baby. <laughs> okay, so we're making some collard green gumbo. <laughs> Y'all, shout out to my man and shout out to smoking and grilling with AB because he taught me this recipe and you know I had to bring it to the channel and show y'all what it's giving, okay? So we finna bust down. So look at all the goodies we have. Don't mind the bread, y'all. Okay, so we got some and dewy sausage. We got peppers and onions. We got our shrimp and we got some greens. I still gotta soak these in some more water. Um, we got honey. Y'all come on to our seasoning. So we got the oil and flour. This is for our roux, okay? We got some rice, of course. We got some chicken broth for the flavor of our gumbo. All right, I got a little obey. I may not use much of that. Of course, because it got New Orleans. And New Orleans is famous for that gumbo, right, baby? All right. <laughs> I got a little of this for some spice because my man, you know, he needs to feel a little better. So he got a little cold, so I want to make it a little spicy. I'm going to do a little um, chili powder. I'm going to do a little of this. And this is really not a recipe for the gumbo, but I just want to throw it in there. A little bit of sloppy mama. I might not use that. We got parsley just to add our herbs in there. And then of course the onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. And of course, you gotta tie it with this. If you ain't tying it with no cornbread, what you doing? Okay, period. So we about to start with our roll. Let's get to it. Okay y'all, let's start with our roll. So I'm just pouring in some oil, Put anything in here. Okay, so that's the amount of oil we're giving for today. We're gonna wait till they get real hot and sizzling and we're gonna add our flour. Mm. Tap in. All right, you ready? Just gonna mix it all up in there, honey. Mix it. I don't want to leave, like AB said. Don't leave this area. Just mix. But be careful. All right. So once this get the color that we want, I'm gonna show y'all what we gonna do next. So tap in. That's really all I needed for y'all. So this is the color right here that we have right now. So it's gonna get darker as it go from what I saw in the video. So I'm gonna just go ahead. Ooh. 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 Go ahead and add them onions first, baby. We're gonna saute these onions. Mm-hmm. Y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so flavorful, so delicious. Look at that, and it's gonna get darker as it cook everything. So after we do the onions, we're gonna go ahead and add the peppers in once the onions are really cooking and flavorful and juicy and sauteed, okay? And then we're gonna add our sausage in. Mm. Look at that. We're gonna let it go ahead and saute on love. Get that cooking real good, and then we're gonna add our peppers. Y'all already know how it be when it's cooking with Lexi, <laughs> period. Let's see how our onions and peppers 
I put my peppers in off camera because I felt like you didn't need to see all of that. Same thing I did with the onions. I just put the peppers in about five minutes later. This is the color of our roux so far, okay? So now I got my seasonings in here. I'm gonna leave it in the description bar below, but I got onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, some Cajun, a little bit of that um, New Orleans seafood boil I told y'all about, a little brown sugar, all of that good stuff, y'all. A little chili powder. So we're just about to go ahead and add it in here. Okay. And I'm gonna add more seasoning as I go. Have to. Look at that. Mm. Okay. So now that we got our seasonings, we're gonna add a little more when it's time, but we're gonna go ahead and add our andouille sausage in here, y'all. Go ahead and add that. So I'm just gonna cover all of this up. Yeah, mix it all in here. And we about to let this cook. I'm gonna let this cook a little, y'all. As you can see, our roux has been ruined. This is what we look like. Don't that look good, y'all? Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all tap in because the next step is gonna be the grand finale. We're gonna add in our <laughs> chicken broth, okay? And then we're gonna add in our greens. So y'all make sure y'all keep tuning in. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is how we looking. This is how everything is looking. Oh, if y'all can smell it. Mm. Look at that. Yes. Real good, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna add our chicken broth. We're gonna add our chicken broth. Add for right now. Cause you know we gotta add them them greens, so yeah. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna go ahead and add our collards, but I'm about to taste this broth real quick. Mm. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and add our collards, but I'm about to taste this broth real quick. Yeah, a little more um, seasonable, but it's good. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more seasons, y'all. Um, we're gonna be right back at it when I put the greens in. Give me one second, one second. Okay, y'all, so here's our greens. Here's our um, gumbo. Let y'all see this gumbo real quick. That's how it look with the chicken broth in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna try to get this all the way down. Just give me a baby. Then I'm gonna add some more seasoning in here too. You gotta season as you go. Have to. It's a must. Honey. All that down in there. All right. I'm gonna be careful because you know we got some sausages now in there. Add a little of this, a little obe, a little chili. Nothing too much with the chili. Add a little of this cinnamon, a little of some parsley. We're gonna do our garlic powder. some onion of course a little bit of this crabble a little more and this is super spicy if you overdo it okay and a little bit of this red pepper flakes all right i'm about to put the top over these and i'm gonna let this cook y'all tune in Hey y'all. <laughs> so here's our shrimp. Here's our gumbo, y'all. I'm gonna add a little flour towards the end because honey, I just wanted a little more gooey and gumbo-y. So yeah, I'll go ahead and add some shrimp because we ain't want these to overcook. And we don't need to season these because you know the broth and what they're cooking in is gonna be very good, so. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Ooh. 
mix it around up in there. The collards are so tender, y'all. I done tasted everything, seasoned it to my perfection. Look at that. But we're gonna let that cook. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna be back with y'all in about uh, 0.5 seconds. <laughs> Oh, my bad. All right, hey y'all. Let's do a picture real quick. Okay. So y'all, we are done. This is what everything, you know, finalized. This is the gumbo. Look at that, y'all. Smells good, tastes even better. Press it down in there, mm, just like that. Look at that, y'all. Okay, we got our rice. Here's our gumbo, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and plate. I'm about to clean up that mess, but y'all seeing what it's giving. Oh, a lot of collars up in here. That's good, cause he needs that, okay. Y'all see this? To clean up this plate a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, the color I'm giving on the camera. That's good. That's a good size. I hope you enjoy it, babe. I know you will. Going up a cheek, baby. Yes, this really was very good and simple and easy. I hope y'all enjoyed this content. Make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Till the next video. Thank you, baby. 10 out of 10. Right in front of camera, I recorded. Oh, thank you, babe.